there is a direct linkage between the success or failure of our efforts around stem cell research in the state of California, for that matter, by definition, the nation, and the race for lieutenant governor. The fact is, few people know that the lieutenant governor has the opportunity and the privilege and the right to appoint five people to the Citizens Oversight uh, Committee uh, that looks at the three billion or so dollars that will be invested in stem cell research over the course of the next uh, decade or so. That's five appointments that can either go in the hand of someone who supports the advancement of research and discovery around stem cells or someone that vehemently opposes it. But let me introduce uh, the man whose history will record forever as having been the father of stem cell research here in California. We're all very indebted to Bob Klein's effort in bringing forward Prop 71, getting behind Prop 71, and making sure that it is fulfilled. Bob? I'm here today as a patient advocate, certainly as the father of a son with juvenile diabetes and the son of a mother with Alzheimer's. I'm here as the author of Proposition 71, as the chairman of the Proposition 71 campaign committee, to give you a very clear message. Tom McClintock represents the far right, extreme opposition to stem cell research. If he has five appointments, it will damage the future of stem cell research in California. John Garamendi represents the champions of stem cell research. He was one of the first people in California to endorse Proposition 71. He is absolutely a great leader for this state and this nation on stem cell research, and we desperately need him to be elected Lieutenant Governor of the state of California. I'm Dr. Tony Eisen. I'm a health officer in California, a member of the Health Officers Association of California, and an advocate for patients and communities that are looking for health equity in the distribution of both access to health care and stem cells. Now let me put this into some context for you. You've heard some great speakers talk about the benefits of stem cell research. Three million Californians have diabetes. A third of them don't even know they have it. California has the fastest growing rate of diabetes in the country. We know that in communities of color, Latinos, African Americans, the rates are on the order of 13 to 15 percent prevalence. We also know that a child born in the year 2000 has a one in three chance of having diabetes in his lifetime. If that child is African American or Latino, it's one in two. So we're gonna see a future very shortly where diabetes is the norm. Where everybody here today, everybody in the state of California will have a direct family member with diabetes. One thing we know about the demographics of California, California is getting browner and it's getting older. The rate of diabetes is highest in those over the age of 60. So we can say for sure today, diabetes is going to continue to grow rapidly in this state and become the number one problem for our healthcare system. It will destroy our healthcare system. So I'm John Garamendi, and there's not a family in California that isn't one way or another affected by these kinds of illnesses. And therefore, this is an issue for all of us in California. Shall we advance, shall we move forward and see if this stem cell research therapy will actually solve the problems? There is great evidence that it can and that it will. We owe it not to those of us who are just here, but on into future generations to be able to always advance, to always try to solve the great riddles of life. And we can do that. And this is something that is not new to me. University of California's research facilities and research efforts have been something that I've worked on now for more than 30 years. As a legislator in Washington, D.C., as Deputy Secretary of the Department of Interior and as Insurance Commissioner. Before I left the legislature, we figured out a way to finance research facilities at the University of California at more than $1,250,000,000 of facilities have been built of all kinds. Some of them even here at this campus, so that research can go on, so that the human mind can expand 
the area of knowledge and find solutions to human problems, problems that we see here and problems that are in every home in this state. We can do better. And the position of Lieutenant Governor is often undervalued. Undervalued because it's a position that some say has little power. I say it has great power. It has the power to accumulate information and to cause people in California and beyond to want to solve a problem, whether that problem is one that we see here today of research, medical therapies, stem cell research, or issues of the climate, how we deal with global warming, how we deal with all of the issues of education and beyond. You're in a position as a regent of the University of California to push those agendas and to cause us as Californians to support these areas of research and education. You're in a position to deal with the environment because you're on the State Lands Commission. Today is about stem cell research. One of the great opportunities that exist, and frankly I have a great deal of trouble with my opponent on this and many other issues, to simply assume that science cannot advance. That we as human beings have no right to advance an area of research for whatever reasons is wrong. It is just plain wrong. And to wind up in a position of power where you can appoint five people to the oversight board that will either advance or retard this area of research is one that I want Californians to ponder. I want Californians to ponder the choice that is available to them. Do we advance stem cell research? Or do we appoint or do we elect an individual as Lieutenant Governor who has repeatedly, not just in his ballot statement where he wrote the ballot statement opposing Prop 71, and his leadership in the committee that opposed it, but on the Senate floor over the last six years, consistently opposing every effort to advance to advance stem cell research. Resolutions up to the federal government, legislation that would put in place opportunities for stem cell research. That's where Tom McClintock is. I want people in California to know very clearly why I am. I'm for research. I'm strongly for stem cell research. And I want them to know that if I win this election, I'll be there with them. I will do everything I possibly can for stem cell research, for general research, for medical treatment programs, and to see to it that every single Californian, and if I ever can, every American, has a access to a health care policy that will provide them with the treatment that they need every day in their life. Thank you so very, very much. If there are any questions, we're all here. Perhaps we can answer those questions. Thank you very, very much.